We just got back from Zuger Academy over at Ossington and DuPont. DuPont, it was uh, such a fantastic place. Sean Zuger invited us over there to show us what he's all about. And, of course, we went down to collect our prize pack. Yeah, we, we won this because we entered their Instagram uh, show me the Lee. Was that what it was called? That's right. Show me the Lee. It was a Bruce Lee prize pack. Many, many, many movies. Fantastic That's right. movies. And there was a lot of people that entered in it, but we entered, of course, with our ringer, Kung Fu Bernie Lee. And, of course, he won the prize pack for us. So we also went down there not just to collect our prize, but to do, uh, you know, a, a, a little expose on Zerger Academy. That's right. Yeah. And you know what I liked about them? I liked about, well, first of all, Sean is extremely knowledgeable. Yeah. And secondly, he was quite um, warm and inviting into, into showing us his space and showing us all the tools and equipment that he uses there at the collective. We learned a lot about Zerger Academy. It's been around for 11 years. Started off with three martial arts. And now I believe they're up to 18 there. There's there's something there for almost anyone. Anyone that's looking for martial arts or any kind of just basic sports conditioning, silks, all kinds of things. Yeah, they had everything going on there. So you walk into the place and it's so unassuming from outside. That's right. It's in a in more of an industrial area. And then when you get up the stairs, you're like, how big can this place get? And then you get inside and it's Huge. massive. The Fighting Arts Collective is a bunch of martial arts that are taking place within the one building. Mm-hmm. And they have everything from, you know, Jit Kune Do and, and, and classic Kung Fu. They have a Filipino martial arts that is going on there. But not just that. They also have stick fighting. Salat. Yeah, uh, Salat, I think it was called. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, so they have Salat and they have, um, they have uh, uh, fencing going on there. Clubs. Clubs, that's right. And they also had... Mace. Yeah, well, that's in the fitness side of it. But they also had, uh, which you normally cut off your leg with, uh, samurai swords. I almost gave myself a very close shave with that samurai <laughs> sword, which apparently was incredibly, incredibly sharp. Uh, I liked when he was teaching you how to use the sickles. Remember, you guys were having that sickle fight sort of thing? That's right. That was scary. Some of the exercises, the slow slow movement exercises. Yeah. And he can climb silks. He's fantastic at yeah, it. Yeah, he's six foot two, and he goes up the silks like a five foot two stripper. It was crazy. <laughs> sure. Now, now they had this open space, but if you go upstairs, if you go upstairs, they have all kinds of different equipment. Now, up there, uh, there's a one trainer. He also teaches a lot of the Kung Fu there, and that's Ryan Kennedy. Now, Ryan Kennedy, he specializes not just in Kung Fu, but he works with the, the Indian clubs, Yeah. and he had this mace. Now, I'm going to be taking a course with uh, Ryan with the mace. Now, the mace is a weighted end of like a almost looks like a... Take a, a shovel handle and put something really heavy at the end of it, maybe 20 pounds. It's almost like they would c- cut open a basketball, pour cement, That's how they and did it, stick yeah. a, 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 a hoe or a... Pe- not a yeah. hoe. Well, it's a hoe handle. <laughs> hoe handle is fine. That's what it was. A shovel handle. A shovel handle. For those people that are getting confused with the word hoe, <laughs> be a shovel handle into a cement filled with like a basketball filled thing yeah. and it's very very heavy and it's excellent for shoulder mobility and strength yeah. it's fantastic and, and and then I learned that the whole point of, of these kind of around the head movements would be for throwing your opponent in, in a martial arts move I didn't yes. even know that that was great to learn yeah so when I went down there he was doing drills with a number of his students and what he had mm-hmm. was he had he had uh, Indian clubs going on he had the mace and he also had something called a Bulgarian bag now, the Bulgarian bag, it looks like a half an inner tube with handles on it, but I believe it might be filled with sand, but it's very, very heavy. Okay. And they also swing that around, very similar to the mace. Wow. And they had kettlebells as well. Yes. And, and Lots so of them. It's my kind of training. What's also interesting is they do tactical um, oh. drills there, and <laughs> I got to see you get shot twice with a BB gun I got at shot. close range. It was great. It's fun yeah. to it, watch. It, it looked like I got shot with a 9 millimeter, but it was thankfully, it was a BB gun. Here you go. Here you go. Do it again. Right. Okay, that was good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, the, yeah, they do have tactical training there. They have some right. uh, people who specialize just in tactical training. So it, it's that place is loaded to the hilt. Yeah, loved it. Yeah, loved I it. love Zerger Academy. So if you're in the Toronto area, ladies and gentlemen, please check out Zerger Academy. We're going to put up uh, a link and show you exactly where you can find that and please see our friend and our good friend sean zerger and let him know that revenge jim sent you and please check out zerger academy